morning. Uh, welcome again to another episode of OA Ako, the tele magazine. I remember two weeks ago I was asked, sino ang favorite chef mo? And sabi ko, uh, for the blending of flavors, I will have to go with Chef Tatu. And today, I'd like to invite the others to experience um, his uh, cooking. And you know, Tatum, explain nga to us, bakit special sa iyo itong, ano, itong mga dalawang recipe na nakaharap ngayon sa atin? Actually, this, uh, both these recipes are uh, coconut-based in terms of flavor. I have a dish here. It's uh, actually a Tao Su dish. Um, it's called Pyanggang. And um, the method of cooking the, the gata is to burn it. So yung, yung, yung mature coconut, you, you, you grill it. Ihaw mo siya hanggang maging... Yung mismo hot yung shell. Yung shell, including the yung puti na yung, 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 yung laman niya. And you, you cook it until it's black. Then after it's ground with the uh, uh, local herbs. Uh, we have the turmeric, the lemongrass, mm -hmm. onions. And they have this uh, spice yung, um, called sakural. No? It's like a shallow thing. It's blended. It's made into a paste, into a black paste. Then it's wrapped on the coconut, then it's oh, grilled. That's new. Then after after you grill it, you have to braise it again in coconut milk with the same paste. Then this is the sauce that we pour over. So that's one. And another dish is the um, tinomok. Sometimes it's called tilmok or tinokto. Or um, it's popular in uh, you know the Quezon province. So instead of doing the regular laing thing. We wanted to do something different. So inside the gabi leaf is um, coconut. It's for coconut noodles. It's red buko, no, which mixed with a little uh, shrimp and uh, ground pork. Then we cook it in coconut milk, and there's a little crab fat. So yun siya. Oh, so, so yung brown na yan, that's crab fat. A little crab fat. Oh. Chef Tatong, I'm really fascinated because. Konti lang kayo na nagluluto ng, yung nag expound ng Filipino cuisine. How did you start doing all this and what got you interested in digging really deeper? Well, when I started cooking, like everyone, you always start learning di ba, the French classics, mga ganyan, ganyan Yes, pero, yun, 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 yun yung tinuturo you know, Pero kasi. yung na-realize ko kasi is, what's wrong with our cuisine, di ba? Na, di ba? Like, for example, oh. like, there's a time, luto ka ng European, luto ka ng European. Pero nagsasawa ka rin, eh, you always go back to Filipino food. Yes. Then you begin to ask the question, why do we look down on Filipino food? What, what, what's wrong with it? So if you, if, you look in, if you ask that question, you realize that there's nothing wrong with our food. It's only a perception that has been, you know, propagated no. by, you know... Ay, dumami sana lahi mo! <laughs> you wouldn't believe that the Pyanggang is our top-selling item. And it's not because it's magimik, but people really come back for it. Yeah. Like, uh -oh. you, you, you should Let's really try it now. Uh -oh. Let's try um, it. <laughs> these are authentic Filipino dishes. And my point is that, and dami natin in terms of clues of uh, Philippine cuisine, na hindi lang natin binibigyan ng tamang importansya. Tsaka, uh -oh. masyadong mababaw yung tingin natin sa Philippine cuisine. Yeah, Daka right. hindi natin siya nakahayin. Kaya tayo, kaya tayo, kaya kulang yung, ano, yung pride ba? Yeah, oh. <laughs> Pero kung ma-elevate natin to, mas kina yung magsasaka natin, oh. will, you yes. know, um, ma-elevate oh. din sila. Oh. They'll, They'll be, be proud pride. of what they're to do. So, oh. <laughs> so, so now, you're more into the local ingredients. Local ingredients. Um, oh. Ano ba to? Uh, produced, produced by the and, and, ideas, the... the ako all over kasi if you, if, you, if you go around the Philippines kasi there are a lot of parang um, a lot of ingredients, a lot of products na are not are not utilized, diba? So I see that as an opportunity for us not only na uh, ma enrich yung culture natin but also for for commercial growth, diba? Yes. Like for example, if you look at the experience of Thailand, diba? How did Thai food become popular? It's also by supporting local agriculture. Local, yes. right? So it has to go hand in hand. Eh? And it's by developing the recipes that use local ingredients and for producers to pro produce enough of these products to be able to fill that void. Filipino cuisine can only flourish if we support local agriculture. Because, like for example, uh, you, you offer something then all of a sudden, hindi available kasi hindi kayo ma-produce yeah. ng supplier mo. Of course, nagagalit din yung guest sa'yo. Bakit ka nag-offer? Hindi mo naman kaya. So, it's, it's really a balance. Eh. Parang, parang sumasayaw na paano mo siya 
paano mo siya laruin yung mm -hmm. supporting the local farmer and you know feeling the demand so mm -hmm. it really goes both ways and it I'm sure it will take more time, but at least if we build that dynamics with the farmer, little by little, nagagawa natin ng market. Chef Tato, sample ng mga, ano, ng mga local herbs or ingredients na yung you'd wish itatanim ng mga farmers natin. Actually, ang dami, even the, the local variety of the tomatoes is one thing. No? Kasi we're always using the heirloom tomatoes. Yeah. Yung mukhang, yung mukhang squash yeah, maliit. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, ang dami, like the local rice. Like, here we have uh, rice from Kalinga. We, we, we serve it here. Maganda siya na variety. Medyo malambot siya, hindi siya, hindi yung Actually, medyo masyado magaspa. Hindi nga yan readily available. Yeah, uh -oh. <laughs> And so, so I've been part of, I've been part of a lot of campaigns, no, by, by some NGOs, like, even as simple as the rice natin. I remember the young supplier, when I first met him, he wanted to serve tuba. Tuba. Diba? Yeah. So, ang tagal na rin nun, kaya lang yeah. parati ka nabibili no, sa nabibili supply. Sa Until sa he called me just before yeah. opening yeah. alab, na-refer ko siya to another soaper, mm -hmm. kay Arman. Mm -hmm. So, kamusta yeah. ang supply mo ngayon? Ubus na na. Ubus na. So, we, we, we reordered his delivery yeah. today. So, at least na-link natin yeah. siya sa isang farmer yeah. na nawala yung middleman. Yeah. Diba? At so, so mas marami pa yan. Kasi yung mga pa. ingredients, mm -hmm. eh, hindi pa siya readily available ang yeah. marami. Yeah. So, mas Siguro, pag nakaalam yung iba, uh -oh. ah, I can plant this. Parang oh. remember, we had a seminar before, yung cooperative contract growing. Mm -hmm. It's not really contract growing. It's more of a relationship between the buyer and, and the, the seller. Sellers, oh. So, sasabihin mo, kunwari ni Chef, oh, I need itong ganitong produkto, blah, blah, blah. So, yung tao will grow that for you. Yung, yung, yung ako, personally, one of the things I want to to pursue is what, what I want to call like um, collective buying. Mm -hmm. So we, we work with all, uh, other restaurateurs and other chefs to buy in bulk. Diba? Kasi yes, sometimes ang problema, oh. problema yeah, natin is volume. Mag ikaw maliit ka, konti konti na hassle eh. So if you're able to form like a bulk buying center, that would be something that would mm -hmm. really help the farmer. So mm -hmm. say, okay, we will create the volume, we will, we will we will consume 100 kilos of heirloom tomatoes every week. So, hati-hati yung mga yeah, gano'n. Then, everybody puts it on their menu, di ba? So, mas maganda siya ng gano'n. Kasi, sometimes, ang problema din ng farmers, they produce so much, natatapon din. Yes, oh, kasi diba? so, so, dapat merong dynamics na nag-matching ng market and menu and, di ba, marketing and the sourcing and, the and all that. Yeah. Bidi ng oras, ano? <laughs> Pero grabe, ang dami nating natutunan. History. Yes. And please, thank you, thank you, Chef, for having us here. <laughs> Maraming salamat. At as usual, samahan niyo po kami ulit sa OA Ako.